problem when we're looking at the the relationship between kilograms and, and grams. And one thing we need to know is what the and kilo means thousand. And if we have a kilogram, oops, that means we have one thousand grams. Let me just write that in. So kilo equals one thousand. It's a prefix. Anytime you see kilo, that means one thousand. Whereas milli means one one thousandth. So kilo means a thousand times bigger than something. So if we have a, a kilogram, what this means is one thousand grams. So the ratio here is one kg, and that's the abbreviation for kilogram. For every one kilogram we have, we have one thousand grams. So really, in this problem, even though there's a lot going on here, really it goes down to this ratio. And this is acting a little weird right now, sorry. 1,000 grams. So let's read the problem. Sunshine Airline requires each suitcase to weigh 31.75, it's hard to read, 31.75 kilograms or less before it can go onto the airplane. Trisha's suitcase weighs 3,620 grams before it's packed. What is the maximum amount of weight in kilograms? Excuse me. Trisha can pack in her suitcase and still be allowed to bring her suitcase onto the plane. Okay, so in other words, her su suitcase weighs 3,620 grams, but she's allowed to uh, have her suitcase weigh up to 31.75 kilograms. So it can be a lot heavier. How much more weight could she pack into her suitcase? So what I'm going to do first of all, since we're looking at the weight in kilograms, I'm going to change everything in this problem to that unit. So I'm only dealing with kilograms. So we're going to use this ratio. So we have 3,620 grams. That's how much is in her suitcase. And we know that every 1,000 grams has one kilogram. So to figure out the number of kilograms here, I'm going to say, well, what do I have to multiply 1,000 by to get 3,620? And the answer is 3.62. And if we don't know that, we could just take 3,620 and divide it by 1,000, which is easy to do, since every time we divide by 10, we move a decimal point one to the left. So here we're moving to the left three times, and that's 3.62. So here, the, we're multiplying by 3.62, and we're going to keep that balanced here. So that means that 3.62 kilograms is the same thing as 3,620 grams. So that means her suitcase weighs 3.62 kilograms. But wait, she can pack up to 31 Point seven five kilograms, right? And that's 31,750 grams. So we want to know in kilograms how much more could she add. To do that, I'm going to subtract 3.62 from the total amount, right? I want to know how much is left. And that's going to tell me how much more she can pack. So this is a part two question on a New York State test. We can use a calculator here if we want to. I'm going to. Um, 31.75 minus 3.62. I'm getting 28.13 kilograms. And generally what I do is, especially when I'm using a calculator, is I do that step twice. So 31.75 minus 3.62, and I get 28.13. So she could pack 28.13 more kilograms in her suitcase and still be allowed to bring her suitcase onto the plane. All right, hope that helps.